I believe Dr. Ford. I may be wrong, but I believed her. And I believe Kavanaugh dodged and dissembled, ranted and raved, filibustered and prevaricated. I did not find him credible. I don't believe boof is flatulence. I don't believe the devil's triangle is a drinking game. And I don't believe calling yourself a girl's alumnus is being her friend. Letting Kavanaugh's alleged accomplice in the assault, the guy in the room with him when it happened, get away with a lawyer's letter and no testimony, no cross-examination. Here's Kavanaugh's calendar. Dr. Ford said that Kavanaugh and Judge and PJ and at least one other boy were all at a house. Well, we know Bart Kavanaugh was there because it's his schedule. And here's Judge, and here's PJ. Here are all those three named boys and others at a house together, just as she said. She said Kavanaugh and Judge were drunk, and that she had a beer. Skis is brewskis, beer. They were drinking, just as she said. Now, I will concede that the two girls aren't mentioned. But spot me this. If, if you had just sexually assaulted one of the two girls, would you add the girls' names to your calendar? I doubt it. This may, may be powerful corroborating evidence that the assault happened, that it happened that day, and that it happened in that place. But with no FBI investigation, we can't tell. That's how you get out of Lindsay's batter's box. You investigate. It's the least thing a sexual assault victim is entitled to when she comes forward. You cannot tell me Ms. Ford's allegations weren't credible. They were credible enough to get her before the Senate. And yet she was not given the most basic, decent thing that a witness or victim could be given after they come forward. Sincere or thorough investigation.